Hi, and welcome back. In this short Python data visualization tutorial, we're going to learn how to create rain cloud plots in Python. To do this, we will use the Python package Petit Prince. We will also use pandas to load a data set from the web. In the description below, there are links to all packages used in this video and a link to a Jupyter notebook containing all the code, as well as other useful links. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and push the thumbs up button. Now, in this data visualization tutorial, we first are going to learn how to install Petit Prince using pip. The next thing we are going to do is load data using pandas read CSV. And finally, we are going to learn how to create rain cloud plots using Petit Prince. Okay, let's continue this Python data visualization tutorial by installing the Python package Petit Prince. Just fire up your command prompt. See link in the description below if you don't know how to. And type in pip install Petit Prince. Now, this is going to take a while. So it downloads the needed files the dependencies numpy for instance so we are going to wait and see now it's installed and we have everything we need so let's fire up a Jupyter notebook so in this python data visualization tutorial we are going to learn about a relatively new way to visualization data the rain cloud plot so this type of plot combines the box plot the violin plot and the scatter plot into one data visualization. So in our Jupyter notebook, the first line of code here, percentage sign matplotlib inline is only there to enable us to display the plots within the Jupyter notebook. So the next thing we're going to do is to import pandas as PD and import petit prince as PT like this and we run the first code chunk now we're going to use pandas read csv to read a data file in the format of csv from the web so we used the pandas read csv method to do this and if you're looking for a good pandas read csv tutorial check the link in the description below now we start creating our data frame object at df and then we type equals and pd dot read underscore csv and i'm just going to cut and paste this url to the data set using df head we can look at the first five rows and you can see here we get an unnamed column now we are ready to create our first rain cloud cloud plot using python so x equals pt rain cloud x we're going to use the species on the x axis like that and on the y axis we use the septal length. We could use any of the other, but in this case, we're going to use these two as X and Y. So the data is our data frame we created here. And the next, we can set the width of the violin plot 0.8. And the width of the box plot, 0.4, for instance. We can set the figure size. Fig size is going to be 12, 8. And the orientation, horizontal. And now we can only run this and we will get 
a rain cloud plot. Here we can see the septal length on the x axis and the different species on the y axis. And we see here the distribution. We see the scatter plot here, and we have the box plot here. Okay, there's one final thing we're going to do in this Python data visualization tutorial. We're going to add a point plot connecting the means of all the different species here. So that's easy done. We add the argument point plot, set it to true. By default, this is set to false. And now we just create our plot. And we can see if we just get this nice red line connecting the means. Okay, now we know how to create rain cloud plots in Python. More specifically, in this Python data visualization tutorial, we learned how to install Petit Prints. We load the data using pandas read CSV method. And we created two rain cloud plots. One where we connected the means using a point plot also. So if you like this tutorial and like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up. Bye!